So I'm trying to replace this mercury thermostat that only has two wires with a Honeywell thermostat. Now, because it only has two wires, I was wondering what I should do. There's not a lot of videos on this, so I'm going to make one. Now this piece right here that is connected to the middle piece that's connected to R and RC, unless you have air conditioning, you don't need that piece. So you can get rid of that piece. Then we're gonna hook up the red to R, tighten that in. And then this, it doesn't look white, it's hard to tell, but that's actually your white. So we're gonna hook this up and we're gonna see how well this works. So I have the plate off for the old mercury thermostat. So what I need to do is I'm gonna need to get these wires in here and mount it on. So as you can see, I was finally able to get this mounted. Um, now I'm gonna try and hook up the wires. Okay, so as you had seen before, these were coiled up into a circle. All I did was use this to bend them straight. They're really thick wires. I wanna see if when I put these in here, how long they're gonna be if I need to maybe cut the wire a little bit because you don't want too much excess wire hanging out. I got these wires in and again, I had that piece here in between R and RC. Again, you only need that in there if you have an AC unit, which this obviously does not. And this is gonna be your white. Like I said, I didn't know what color it was. Very hard to tell. So I'm going to, I figured the wires aren't touching anything. I wanna see if this first works. Um, the wires aren't touching the back of the mount. So I'm just gonna leave those the way that they are instead of cutting them a little bit. So I'm gonna put it on and we're gonna see if it works. Also with this, it takes two AAA batteries and you also have a switch down here for gas or oil, electric or heat pump. This one is an electric heat pump. So I had slid it over to the right and now I'm going to put it on. And it just pops right on sometimes oh, I did it the wrong way make sure you put top and then push on the bottom otherwise it's harder to get it to work now I have heat on but I gotta go turn uh, the circuit breaker back on so I'm going to go turn the circuit breaker back on which or that's something that you need to remember to do is to turn that off before you even start because if you do that who knows what will happen so I turn that on I have my heat on I can already hear my heat kicking in so I'm just going to turn up to 75 because I was doing this for so long and I'm freezing because I was trying to figure out how to do this now Something else that had confused me is on here, it had this extra wire. I don't know if you can see this, but it's got a wire right here. Now this wire, it's three, three wires all connected. And right at the end here, they're all connected to that piece of mercury. Where they go, I don't know. But I had also seen that it was connected down here. Now, when I had done that originally, I was watching all these videos and it said to label everything, find out what every wire is. I was told that this was blue. It's not. This wire doesn't do nothing. So you don't need to worry about it. Now what I was told in regards to the spring and everything here, that's just, you go like this, when you turn it, you see the spring, like as I'm turning it, you can see the spring move, okay? So if you go, you want your temperature to be low, 
like it's saying right now, you see the spring is out. You turn it up and the mercury, turn it up, it's gone. It doesn't do nothing, nothing. Now, this piece that was also on there, it was mounted like this, okay? Now, this was connected with that little wire. It was all connected on there and mounted like this. So that's where I got very confused, especially when it said that you need to have four wires and I only have two. So I hope this video helps. And another thing I'm gonna say, this manual, no. It, it, it does not help whatsoever. And all it does is talk about the four different colors. You know, your red, white, green, and yellow. Well, what are you supposed to do if you don't have that? This does not tell you anything. So I hope that this helped someone, anyone, um, because there needs to be more videos like this. And like I was telling you about four wires, it even shows four wires here. Well, I don't have four wires. So again, take safety precautions, turn off your, um, either your furnace, if you have a switch on the furnace, or turn off the circuit breaker ahead of time. And again, the only time you need to hook up the R with the RC and have that little metal piece, which I don't know where I put it, I had to set it down, but that little metal connecting piece, um, the only time you need that is if you have an air conditioner. I just wanted to show that the way that I had hooked up the two wire old thermostat with the mercury in it to this Honeywell uh, digital thermostat is working properly. The temperature had already went up uh, one degree from 60 degrees in about 10 minutes. Thank you again and good luck.